The question now is will this tiny island nation be able to heal? The Bahrain Independent Commission of Inquiry, a panel set up by King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to investigate allegations of human rights abuses, worked for months before presenting its findings this week. A highly critical report that said, among other things, Bahrain's security forces had used excessive force and torture against people arrested during the nation's Arab Spring protests. It said detainees were beaten with metal pipes and batons and threatened with rape and electrocution. We were going in and talking to prisoners. We talked to 1,300 prisoners. We went into every hospital. We talked to everyone. 20-year-old uh, Ayat al Kormozi says she was one of those prisoners. She feels the report is a step in the right direction, but doubts it will change much in her homeland. We want the result, not, uh, not uh, just talking. In June, al Kormozi was found guilty of assembling at Pearl Roundabout and speaking out against Bahrain and the king. She was sentenced to a year in prison. This video shows her reciting a poem critical of the regime which is what got her into so much trouble. First came her arrest in March. Then she says she was tortured, taken to a small cold room with blood on the walls. I stand for, for um, three days maybe without, without sitting. It's not, not um, allowed to sit and not allowed to, to uh, hold wall when I tired. They beat me when I hold wall. Uh, they beat me. Um, they beat me a lot, a lot, especially at the night. She was released after three months behind bars. This experience teach me to uh, to to not afraid to to be strong. Uh, to say my opinion and um, not afraid. Anyway. And the defiance hasn't subsided. After our meeting, clashes erupted in the Shiite village of Ali. What started as a funeral procession ended with violence. The security forces keep coming up and down this road. Uh, they've been firing tear gas canisters before trying to clear the way. There's been demonstrations. Now we're hearing chants of Isqaf Hamad. That means down with the king. The situation remains very tense here. Even before the commission's report, the government admitted this week it had been guilty of excessive force in February and March, cracking down against protesters who were rallying for political reform. Since then, some have called for regime change, while others are still pressing for reconciliation. Mohammed Jamjoum, CNN, Manama, Bahrain.